Hey everyone, welcome to Sauce. I thought I would give this game a try because it's called Refunct and apparently it is um, uh, a game that you generally can play in like an hour or so. And it's one of those walking simulators with parkour or whatever it is. But this game detected my location, I guess, and decided that I must play in Portuguese, so no. Let's fix this very quickly. Oh god. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. So let's make a new game even though it doesn't really matter. This this is the entire animation that does when you start a new game. Also I guess I'm gonna increase my Sensitivity, sensitivity, sensitivity. Yeah, okay, that's better. Uh, anyway, I have not. I'm not really sure what this game is, other than that it's like you can walk around and there's discover stuff, and the game teaches you teaches you how to play it sort of organically. I guess you can't sink. There is some stuff going on down there, though, so I have to assume that. Either the water level is going down or the those blocks are coming up. Also, when I stepped on this block, it became colored. So I'm guessing the objective of the game is to step on all the blocks. Let's see what happens if I step on all of them here. And, oh. The button here. Oh, there you go. The blocks do come up if I step on the buttons. Um, so holding the space bar allows me to... Like, it climbs up automatically onto the thing that I'm jumping into if I don't hold it. And if I press it, I can wall jump. Which is potentially not very helpful. Well, so far so good. I'm gonna guess the objective of the game is to step on all the blocks. Let's see, six percent. Increase my sense a little bit more. Six percent. Not a lot of blocks here. If that's the case. And what's that music? Oh god, I forgot to hold the space part. Damn it. Oh man, it's dropping the base. Oh, okay, I can wall jump repeatedly. So if I fall off there, I can just keep wall jumping. Alright. So, my, my guess is that we should keep moving around the places that are discolored and keep coloring them. Oh. You can also crouch. I guess I can hit this button if I crouch. But I want to color all of those. So what the heck? Oh no. So I guess I'm gonna have to jump over there and like make it up. Okay. What's that? There's block there. Uh what's that though? Something up there. A cube? That didn't do much. I did get an achievement for it, but I have no idea what it does other than that. I'm guessing I should go into this tube. This tube. Oh, the tube doesn't get colored though. Okay. Okay. I guess the tube just ejects me outside wherever I go. What? This game is a day night cycle? What? Wow. Why would this game have a thing that's like... <laughs> oh man, that is tall. Um, I think I have stepped... Hold on. I think I stepped on everything there. Uh, okay, what's this? Boing? Oh, it's just a platform. What's up? Let's step on this door. Alright. Let's step on all of them. That's what I'm here for. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I guess I car got carried by the momentum of that platform there. 
What's this? Wee! Oh, okay. Another cube. Oh man, there are two buttons here. Okay, I need to crouch to go inside that tube. Okay. Oh no! Also, I guess you can do that. I guess it that gives me a chance to look at all the other places before they pop up, but that doesn't really help much. I don't think. Let's go up. And come off, come off, come up here. Where we were, so let's go here and step on this. Oh, there's another cube. They're not, I'm not getting any more achievements for getting them, so I'm guessing I have to get all of them for another achievement, or like 50% or 100, I don't know. That one, I don't know how to reach that one. Mm. Oh, okay. So, there's a cube here. I don't really know how to reach that. Maybe I have to jump from there? How exactly did we get up there in the first place? Oh. I'm nowhere near high enough for that. That's right, I got I, I got a lift. Whee! That's how you do it. You just oh I got another achievement. Okay. How are you? The first achievement said hello. How are you? This one. Um Oh, did I just Slide off. Why is that even in the game? I can't slide. Oh, okay. I guess it's just showing me that I can go through the tubes from underwater. Sliding is a mechanic in this game. I don't get it. Uh, let's see. It's jumped. So, how am I gonna get there? Where's the panel again? This is one, right? Okay, I can just try. I guess I need to jump better there. Woo! God, I like how the inertia... How you can keep the inertia from the panel going up. From the platform I think I need a little more precise jumping there either that or maybe I can get it from there I don't know hmm. I don't think so oh maybe I can get it from here Whee! I love that it's so funny it's so great Okay, let's go to the beam. At least there's this red beam shooting at the sky so I don't get lost if I lose track where I had to go. How much my 32%? Okay. You can tell this game is really short. I mean, I've played it for like, what, 10 minutes and I'm 33%, 35% done, presumably. Oh, I guess this one is forcing me to do the wall jump thing. I guess I don't need to be facing the way I'm walking you from. Alright. Okay. Let's grab this cube. And go here. Oh. There's a weird panel there. 
Well, um, I guess I'm gonna have to go up here to reach that. There's another place down here, and what else? This and this now is unleashed. I have no idea how that worked, but it did, so I can't complain too much. Alright, got some places on the, on the other side. I can't complain too much about this platforming, it's pretty tight. I like it. <laughs> okay, that I don't think that was supposed to work, honestly. I wall jumped and I immediately grabbed onto the wall and uh, pulled myself up. That was weird. Okay, the shadow is moving. What? Oh no, that's just the sun moving. Okay. There's a button down there. Does it have to open up? Okay, I have to go in underwater. Okay. Yeah, and as for this, I'm not sure how to get up there quite. Oh, the panel again, the platform, I mean. Oh, I didn't hold spacebar. Spacebar is a jump button, of course. Gosh, this is so. Oh no, I mi barely missed. Should I try again? I'm gonna try again. Ah! Oh, maybe if I come up here? There's one that. Okay. I assume there will be a use for this lighting mechanic sometime, but I cannot imagine what it would be yet. Maybe if I go up... Oh, maybe I can jump it. It can make it across from here. There you go. What drives you? Well, that percentage counter right there. I mean, what else is there to drive me? Right? What? Oh, don't get too abstract on me, game. Come on. Like what drives me? Come on, game. What drives me? You know what drives me. You damn well know what drives me. You are completely aware. What drives me? By the way, what drives me was the name of the latest achievement I got. I think the achievements don't show up on the the video. They haven't for the last. I don't know how, why, because the first few videos, I think, in my witness videos, the achievement I got did show up. I'm not sure, but I think it was an achievement showed up. And I would rather it didn't, honestly, but... I mean, it's not too much of a big deal, even if it does. Wow. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I can make it. I can make it. Hey, I made it. Whee! Wall jump. The, the, wall, the way the wall jump is coded in is pretty, really useful. Honestly. I mean, look at this. Whee! 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 See? Totally useful. Come on. Aw. I'm gonna lie, the platforming in this game is pretty tight. I have to... For a first person game, platforming is really tight. Hey, what's this? It's just a... I think it's a spring. 
This panel, let's see what's there. something down here. No, okay. Is it bad? One of the cubes is gonna be down underwater even after the place is all lifted up, so I can see that being the case just to mess with me or everyone who plays this game. I still have no idea why there's a slide. Why is there a slide? Okay. Not that one. This one. This one. And this one. Alright. Alright, okay. Then what? Uh, this one, or this one, let's hit that one in the other thing. <coughs> do do what you love is the next achievement I got. I I love what I do. Is that good enough for you games? Questioning my decisions? I don't think you are a game. Oh, I messed up. Uh, let's get those. Because kind of, there are a few floors in the bottom here that I would have to fall off to get them. So I would have to fall off to get these, so I might as well do them now. I think that's it. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I think that's it now. Alright, let's go back up. There a, wasn't there a trampoline here? I'm not so sure anymore. Let's go up. No, I don't think we can make it over there. Someone down some other platforms down here. Pillars, I mean, down here as well. Oh no. Come on, game. Oh, okay. I can get on the pillars if I start down here, and I should be able to get on this one. Then I can get on that one, and this one, and the last one. The last one. 84%. And that beam looks distant. What's with me and playing games that have beans? I mean, it's not like I've played any ones lately that have them. It's just this one and the witness all the way back then, right? That's a lot of flat. Oh, damn it. There's no point in nightly guessing if there is an achievement for beating this game without getting underwater because there is a button you need to get underwater to hit, so... Unless they found a way to differentiate between going underwater for that or just missing a jump. But I would not count that as likely. Oh man, what the heck? Okay, what? Alright. so weird how that works. I'm guessing giving myself a push and then just reaching on, latching on for dear life. Okay, I'm actually at a loss here. How do I get that button? How do I get that button in particular? 
Okay, I have to slide in midair, I guess. This button is green. Considering I'm 96% done, I guess this is the end. Could be, I mean, just assuming right now. Just making an ass of you and me. That's what it means when you assume. Uh -huh. Okay, how do I reach there? Maybe I have to wall jump a little more. Damn it. Come on. Not exactly. Am I supposed to make that? I think that was supposed to work, but it did, so can't complain. Damn it, I missed some. Also, the game loves me. Oh, it's, it looks like a heart, actually. Oh. Seems to be... Oh. So I haven't finished that. Let's get that before I forget. Oh, okay. There's the last cube here, I suppose. 100%? 99%? Where am I missing? Who do you love? That was the last. I got an achievement when I beat the game. I forgot to look what it said, though. Tell what it said. I don't know anymore what it was. I wonder though, where is the. Because I'm at. Oh. What? What? Still 99%. be it the last one 100 percent fireworks can I beat the game again or <laughs> weird is that getting 100 percent didn't achieve me didn't give me an achievement that got me in oh, okay now I got an achievement Oh, I can step on the panels. I can step on the buttons to get... Oh... What am I doing as far as achievement goes? Oh, no! What the hell? Finish refunct in four minutes? Finish refunct under 33%? Oh man. Wow, that's intense. Oh, I'm satisfied with this game though. I mean, that's basically it. You can get some neat fireworks, I guess. These ones are. No, it actually changes the margin a bit. Oh, I can change the colors. Oh, okay. Alright. Well. Anyway. This is basically this game. I guess if you want a quick and dirty. I guess it's not dirty, but like. It's pretty tight platforming, actually. It's really entertaining. For what it is, I guess it's worth checking out if you're into platforming and such. And you can mess around like 
You can make everything a different color if you like. You can make some panels a certain color and some panels a different color if you can time your jumps or move around. I would not be surprised if there were people like... Someone out there went and made like an intricate pattern by finding a certain way to go from here to there and make a different thing. Certain colors. But yeah, th this is refunct I guess. Let's see, just for stuff, what's uh, going on underwater here? It's just shadows. I don't think I have a oxygen bar or anything that limits my time underwater, so you can just stay here. What happens if I try to reach out to those super distant things? Super distant pillars that you can see in the distance. Because that's what distance being the distance means, they're the distant. Um, I... I'm guessing you're just gonna be like invisible wall or something like that. Let's reach, reach for the sky. Bye, island of weird platforms. I never liked you anyway. Oh man, I wonder if there are some Easter eggs placed in the uh, in the sea floor here. That would be interesting. But what exactly could they do there? Could they do like maybe a credit scene? Uh, weird graphic. I don't know. Chances are you can make it all the way across to one of these pillars but you can't do anything once you get there because you're stuck in the water that seems pretty likely actually now that I think about it it's kind of a boring water though not really much going on here there's something going on there and th that sun glows weird. Is that green? Green sun? <laughs> yeah, it seems like you can actually reach the pillars. Just can't do anything when you're there because there's nothing. You can't climb. At least, I haven't been able to climb anything before, so... Unless there happens to be one of those platforms here, I'm stuck. At least it's good to know that this pillar is not white. It's actually colored already, so I don't need... I wouldn't need to worry about it, but... A little boring, but... I don't, it was not totally unexpected. I'm more surprised that the game actually allowed me to click, to just swim all the way out here. To this place that doesn't really do anything. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, there's a pillar all the way out there. What? Why, why should, why would it, why should I bother? Well, duh, because the video is like half an hour long. Uh, water. So like, yeah, this is refunct. I guess the song is, the music is pretty cool. The game is good for what it, is, what it implies itself to be. It doesn't pretend like it's... I have definitely re reached the invisible wall here. Yeah, I have reached an invisible wall, okay. So there you go. Some of the pillars aren't reachable, some of them are. There will be an invisible wall somewhere. And that's it, I guess. Created by Dominic Grieshofer. Music by Christopherson, which is not really identifying. 
Sound, sounds by Leif Atia and Andrew Kiesling. Edition models by Brent Liu and Matt Dirk, and edition textures by Matt Dirks. I really like the design of the menu. It's really fun, like the way the letters are. It's interesting. Uh, anyway. Oh no, I'm Portuguese again. Uh, anyway, I am. Oh, this has the name of the translator also. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening in. I hope this has been fun. Even if, I mean, it was just a walking simulator, but still. Color all of those panel, color all of those blocks, guys. And thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I hope you guys had fun. And in my next games, I don't know what game I will do next, but it will be fun, surely. Uh, anyway, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good night. <laughs>